What's going on YouTube? You already know who it is. Your host with the most, Kentu, back again. Strive Beta is over with. So you're probably wondering what I think about it now. What are my thoughts? How do I feel about it? Well, I feel like I have a good bit to say. So let's just get right to it. No delay. Just pie out. I felt like outright within my first, you know, day or two playing, it was kind of frustrating to actually play because so many disconnection errors, you know, so many issues with the servers being down. Arxis apologized countless times about the servers being down, etc., etc. So it made for a very difficult experience trying to just play people. So I spent a good bit of time in training mode, actually. I didn't really play too many people in the beginning. I just sat in the lab and was like, I'm gonna figure out how to play Chip. <laughs> Needless to say, I did find a lot of things and it's pretty cool to see what he can do in the game now. Yeah, like, I thought after they kind of stabilized everything and like really got the server working right, it was actually, honestly, it was borderline like uh, I wanted to cry, YouTube. <laughs> like it was amazing to be able to play people from like across the world. To be honest with you, I did not really play too much in the U.S. lobbies. I actually just sat in the Japan lobbies just to see if it was true that you know the connections between you know the U.S. and Japan was good. It was very good to the point to where I only played exclusively in the Japan lobbies because it's like a dream come true, you know, like always wanting to go back to Japan and play against the Japanese players and kind of feel out the meta and grow with them was like always something I wanted to do. Obviously, I live in America and of course I'm going to grow here, right? But you know, it's 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 one thing when you tr when you when you basically play in a different environment, it teaches you different values as opposed to when you play here or where you play uh, normally. You know, so whether you live in one place versus another place, it's just it's just regional differences and, and like play style changes that you can like learn and like adjust to to increase your, your knowledge bank, increase your your player skill. So it was always something I wanted to do, but being able to do that and play against players like Sanma, Mochi. You know, for those of you who don't know, Sanma, he played Venom and Exerd, and Mochi is a soul player. Um, and I played against a few others, but those two are probably the most notable. And uh, needless to say, like, it felt pretty normal. It didn't feel like uh, super laggy or anything like that. They were literally like two and three, you know, I think maximum anywhere from minimum two to like four frames of the uh, rollback delay. And I'm just like, this is ridiculous. I can't believe like, I'm actually playing these guys and like I'm reacting to things, punishing things. You know, I'm just playing normally and it just it just felt right. So I would definitely say for certain being able to play it, you know, across the globe is like phenomenal. Uh, not to mention you guys, uh, I did put up a match with me and Kizzy K. Really, Kizzy is probably one of the only other people that I did play that was from the US um, online. Outside of my, you know, my own local scene, you know, I did play against those guys too to see how the connections were and like, it's like flawless, you know, like one and it's like one to zero frames of rollback, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, mmm, mmm, Arx just hit the nail on the head, you know, like it's like, it's really phenomenal to see. And that's why I said it's like borderline tear jerking, you know, it's just like, man, maybe you want to cry just how good this online is. It's like, man, finally there's a fighting game where we don't have to stress out about like, is the online going to be good? You know, is, is this, is, is this, is this bad? Is this, you know, is too many questions, right? And uh, I had a gut feeling that once they did their thing with plus R, that this was going to be good too, you know? And uh, to be honest, I'm just very happy to see Arxis actually pull through. As you guys know, I've been very positive about Strive, and whereas a lot of people haven't been. And I had a lot of faith that this would be pretty good. And lo and behold, they just knocked it out of the park. So that was really awesome to see. So from an online standpoint, I think this is going to be by far the best fighting game you could probably play online, bar none. 
I'd probably say second to that would probably be like Killer Instinct, but older game, right? This is a brand new one. So there's that. Online connectivity was definitely great once they stabilized the servers. Um, the lobby system, I felt like they made a lot of good changes to it. Obviously, it's not the best lobby system whatsoever. I'd probably say the lobby system is the one thing I like indefinitely will ring them for. I'm not the biggest fan of it, and I'm sure a lot of you guys aren't either. But the quality of life changes to it, where you can actually like hit the player list and teleport to that person wherever they are instead of having to like walk around and find them. It makes finding that person again a lot easier in the lobby, which I think is great. There's still issues with overlapping players. You try to connect to somebody and there's overlapping players. Like the connection may or may not go through. Also, uh, in terms of connection to the lobby, sometimes you had to go into training mode and wait in training mode for someone to play against you because it like initialized better. So hopefully that's something that they look into. Um, other than that, I feel like even though it's not the I'm not the the biggest fan once again of it, like I can live with it for now because everything else about the game is pretty damn good. Now as for like the characters, you know, it's cool to be able to play Giovanna. It was really cool to see like what Giovanna was capable of doing. Um, obviously this beta's balance was all like, it was pretty much all over the place. I'm sure a lot of you guys who were playing it had to deal with a lot of the Potemkins and kind of know that Potemkin was pretty much that dude. Potemkin, Ramlethal, Soul, Kai, I would say, and Mei were probably like the most played. Not to say that other characters did not get played, but I would definitely say those were probably like the highest played overall. You know, there were definitely a good amount of Naga Ryuki, you know, actually a small amount of Zato from when I played in the US servers, but in, in the Japan servers, like for example, like Axel and Zato were like almost non existent in the US servers, and I definitely did play in some of the US servers. I'm not gonna say I didn't. I did spend most of my time in the, the uh, Japan servers, but I didn't really see too much Axel or Zato in the American servers, whereas in the JP and Korean servers, like those characters, like they, they were in abundance. So, you know, again, going back to regional differences in players and, you know, meta, right? So, even though I spent more exclusive time in the Japanese servers, but um, yeah, it's just, there was a lot of good things to see there. Obviously, we had some bugs and a lot of other things out there because, you know, this is a beta. It's not the final product. You know, this is obviously a stress test for these servers. And, um, you know, we had a couple characters, characters with infinites like Soul, Giovanna had an infinite, uh, Zato had like a block stun infinite. Like actually, <laughs> in one of the matches I played, one of the Japanese players actually hit me with that. And I was like, bro, what am I supposed to do? Like, oh, this is an infinite. Oh, and I went on the Twitter realm and saw, oh, that is an infinite. <laughs> So, obviously there's some bugs and stuff like that that they need to fix. But I think just seeing the interactions with the characters and seeing how things are panning out is really cool to see. Um, on top of that, I think one of the biggest takeaways for me at the end of the day with this beta is the way that they designed Strive. A lot of the legacy knowledge plays a role, but not nearly as much. It's such a fresh new experience that even if you know a lot about Guilty Gear from previous versions, specifically like the matchups, it's drastically different. It's not, it's, it's just not the same. So there's a lot more new strategies and things like that to think about and to look forward to. So yeah, it's going to definitely be like a lot of work to do. And I'm looking forward to it, to be honest with you definitely looking forward to it i think it's going to be a great game in the, in the grand scheme of things um i will also say this like even though this is a beta for a beta it's really, it's really like for a beta it's really looking like the first iteration of the game is going to be pretty okay like more often than not in fighting games they really like you know they release like the first version and normally the first version is kind of like poop you know and then they kind of keep adjusting and changing things I anticipate Arxis actually spending a lot of time updating this game. So I'm actually looking forward to seeing what comes about in the future on top of full release. But I'm not going to lie, YouTube. Having to wait this month is going to be a little bit of a, a hurdle. But I am very happy 
to say that, you know, I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun playing. I had a lot of fun learning. I had a lot of fun just, just seeing how things were. It's just, it's just, it just made my heart shine, YouTube. I'm not even gonna lie to you. So I'm really happy to see Guilty Gear being like the spotlight right now. The, the viewership on Twitch was phenomenal. You know, big ups to you guys, you know, who are supporting Guilty Gear. It's really awesome to see that. And I guess I can kind of leave it off here. But before I do, I want to remind you guys that a lot of you guys who are watching my videos are not following the channel. I would highly encourage you to do so to keep up to date with anything and everything that I got going on here. So keep it locked. You know what to do. Notification bell, all that other good stuff, right? And uh, I guess for you know some closing words for you guys. Um, someone asked me in my stream, you know, what do I think the future holds for Guilty Gear based on you know what's happening with this beta. Ultimately, the truth behind that is, it's up to you guys here. You guys here watching my videos, watching everyone else's videos and streams and stuff like that. It's up to you guys to help keep this game afloat. You know, keep the viewership high, be it on Twitch or YouTube. You know, support the content creators, you know, support the developers, whatever capacity. Because without the viewership, without you guys, without the fans, like this series wouldn't be where it is now and they wouldn't have gotten this far with it. So keep the positivity high and keep supporting to the best of your ability, you know. No one's asking you to be in every stream every day, but you know, support. You know, the sometimes the best form of support is just sharing the information, you know. So just keep that in mind. And like I said, yeah, just keep supporting Guilty Gear. Keep supporting. Let's uh let's keep Guilty Gear Strive up in the uh in the highest, you know, regard as much as possible. Because if we do, we can see a bright future for the game. Hopefully I will catch you guys in the next video. Stay safe out here in these COVID streets. And play more Guilty Gear. I don't care if you're playing Plus R. I don't care if you're going to go back and play Xrd. Okay? Play more Guilty Gear. We don't need to save Guilty Gear. We need to play more Guilty Gear. Right? Guilty Gear don't need saving. We need to grow Guilty Gear. Right? Let's grow it together. Me, you, you know, the boys around you, the boy down the street. You feeling me? Alright, bet. Deuces, gooses.